Safarian to the creatures of the night. My name is Yan. How are all of you feeling tonight? Everybody good? Yeah. Wonderful. The show will begin in just a few short moments, but then before that, I've got a couple of messages to share. We're going to start with the first one, and I need you to take a look around the amphitheater. You will notice three alleys: one, two, and three. Once the show starts, we would like to request for you to remain seated. This is because during the show, we will be having animals coming out from all. Over the amphitheater. Yes. So please remain seated until I say thank you and good night. Can we do that? Yes. Great. Also during the show, some of our animals will be coming really close to you. Would you like that? Yes. All right. Then you need to listen up. These animals may look cute. They may seem adorable and they may be tempting to touch. But please do not do that. Don't worry. They are fully trained. Thing is, they only know their trainers. If you touch them, they will not hesitate to let you know how they feel. So we're talking about sharp claws and teeth. I'm looking forward to a safe and fun show. Are you all feeling the same? Yes. Very good. Then we need to keep our hands to ourselves. All right. Last message is the most important one. We're in the night safari, and animals here are nocturnal. That means they're mainly active at night. They're also highly sensitive to bright lights and sudden flashes. I understand we are here and we want our pictures. We're going to do so in a manner that is safe for the animals. So please, take out your cameras, your handphones, your recording devices. We need you to turn off the flash and the spotlights. Go ahead. Have a quick check on them right now if we have to. In any case, I'm going to have a little bit of fun with this. I will try to relay this message in a couple of different translations. So we're going to start firstly with Japan. Anyone from Japan? Nobody? Nobody's from Japan? Anybody from Korea? Nobody's from Korea. Okay. Anybody speak Mandarin? Kacha Wang Sang Hao. Ching Puya Yong Sang Kwang Teng. Hapu Hao. Siesieni. Okay. Do we have any Hindi speaking guests? Namaste. Saplo Abni Kamro Ke Flesh Bunky G A T K. Shukriya. Anybody speak Tamil? Malay Vanaka. Daiva Zeda Pugye Pari Mirikum Boda Flesh Payan Padita Dirga. Nandri Vanaka. Okay. We got time for one last language. So, anyone else? French. Hey, you guys. Okay. Bonsoir. Please remember to turn off the flash on your camera. It's just what you see. <laughs> All right, let's get the show started. We're, we're getting a little bit drizzled, doesn't matter, okay? But before you guys was, let's get the show on a roll. Ladies and gentlemen, one last language. Very good evening. Please, please remember to turn off the flash on your cameras. Believe me, despite all my translations, we will still see flash going off during the show. If that were to happen, I need your help. If the person is sitting really close to you, gently tap them on their shoulders, nicely remind them to turn off the flash on their cameras. Can we do that for the animals? Yeah. Thank you. Last question. Are you all ready for the show? Yeah. You guys, it's the weekend. Come on, are you all ready for the show? Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the creatures of the night will be on the prowl. Strike to provide perfect camouflage. A fishy cat appears by the riverbank. This feline loves to swim and dive underwater. He has a layer of short hair so dense water cannot penetrate, ensuring that it remains warm and dry, even in chilly waters. Fishy cats are rapidly disappearing, and sadly, we know very little of them. The Simon Hunter deserves our protection before it disappears forever.
good evening, and welcome to the world of the nine predators. I've often been asked, how do nocturnal animals survive? While all night creatures have unique adaptation for survival in the forest, for example, the Binturos. Jet black in color, they are almost invisible at night. With their excellent eyesight and quiet ways of moving through the dense forest of Asia, they are able to pounce on small animals easily. But then besides that, Binturos also feed on fruits, fish, and their all-time favorite, birds' eggs. But at this point, gentle reminder, please do not reach out to touch the animal and be mindful of your flash. Binturongs are the largest of all civet cats, and these are highly versatile animals. Now they can climb really well, and this of course they do with the help of their long, beautiful tail. That is in fact a prehensile tail, and you will be amazed to know that tail can support their entire body weight effortlessly. Everybody that's here, a big round of applause. We got Paul and Eliza. Thank you. While Vintorings arrive, their amazing sense of smell to look for food, other night predators will instead make full use of their acute sense of hearing to search for their prey. Very good example, we are going to talk about the owls. Joining us tonight, two lovely owls from two separate continents of the world. Going to start first with the one on my right hand side, that is Rainbow. He is a great one owl. He is native to the Americas. We are not going to miss out on midnight, the Buffy Fish Owl. Otherwise, also known as the Malay fish owl. Midnight is Southeast Asian species like him, can be found even here in Singapore. Owls have a reputation for being one of the quietest raptors in the world. When I say this, what I mean is when they fly, you will not be able to hear any sound at all. Do you believe me? Yes or no? Yes. So easy to convince all of you. All right, we're all in for a little demonstration. This segment, focus your attention on midnight. Remain seated and please be quiet. Excellent flight, midnight. The question is, while he was flying, apart from the screeching sound he makes, did you hear any other sound? Okay, yes, silent flight. <laughs> all right. And this they do with the help of their specialized feathers, which which is not only soft, it will also help them to alter turbulence and absorb noise. Another unique feature when it comes to these birds, they are able to rotate their heads. But then to how many degrees? Any guesses? 360. Okay, any other? 270. Last guess, come on. 180. All right, some of you have got the answer spot on. Owls can easily rotate their heads up to 270 degrees. This is possible because they've got as many as 14 neck vertebrae, which is absolutely amazing. To top that off, they've got asymmetrical hearing, meaning one ear is set higher than the other, allowing each ear to focus on a different range of sound. If you're wondering, this is exactly how owls are able to hunt even in perfect darkness. Okay, what's happening? 25 minutes show only. <laughs> Smile. Just smile. Try it out. <laughs> On that note, the owls are going to leave us. Once again, everybody, Midnight Najmi, we've got Rainbow with Maluga. Thank you, guys. From Kings of the Skies, we're going to move on to meet up with some of Africa's most fascinating carnivores. We're going to start with one of its smallest. Our next friend has taken a long break from shows, just about ready to make a quick comeback. Those of you seated right by the front, if he comes by, please do not reach out to touch him, okay? All right, this, this is not the animal I'm talking about. <laughs> Her name is Kenzie. She's my trainer for this segment. Anytime you're ready, Kenzie. All right, here comes Zion. He is a fan of fox, which is, you know, fennec foxes, as mentioned, can be found in Africa, also some parts of the Sahara. They've got really large ears, which we grow towards of up to six inches, allowing them to listen out for food, hiding either underground or in the cracks of trees and lots. When they do find something good to eat, they will try to dig at it with the help of their sharp curved claws. They may be small, but these animals are highly agile. They can jump up to a meter, and if they so wish, you can launch forward to distances of up to 1.2 meters. We are reaching our last stop. 
Off pictures, everybody. And we're calling in a night. Okay, well done. Big round of applause. Zaya, the Zaya Farm. That was great. All right, now we've got one, we've got two more African predators to catch up on. Before that, yet again, a few gentle reminders. Remain seated and peace. No flash photography. A famous scavenger of the African continent, our next animal possess a keen sense of smell, allowing it to detect a carcass from miles and miles away. This is the spotted hyena, largest of all hyena species in the world. Hyenas are known for their powerful set of jaws which could crush even the bones of elephants. Besides that, because of their dog-like features, many would assume that hyenas belong to the canine family. Surprisingly, however, they are much more closely related to the cats. Speaking of cats, we will soon be meeting the Slender Bill Servo. The reason why it's called the Slender Bill Servo is because, because of their relatively shorter tail and smaller size. Well, right about now, keep your eyes into the exhibit. We are expecting the appearance of a beautiful lady. And uh, oh, <laughs> ooh la la. Now what happened to my beautiful lady? Okay, okay. This one loves playing in the shadows a little bit too much. We've got to give her just a bit more time to join us. All right, okay, it's already me. There she is. Her name is Cash, and Cash is a slender bill servo. Now, I have mentioned earlier, they are known for their really slender forepaws, allowing them not just to dig deep into the ground, but also into really tight holes to search for food. But as I need to know, servos could easily jump high up into the air to catch low flying birds that are slow for takeoff. Thank you guys on Cash. If we are lucky tonight, she will be showing us just how high this feline can go. When it comes to these servals, I'm absolutely in love with their ears. Did you know servals possess the biggest pair of ears as compared to... Mm. Kenzie, you're not supposed to be here. Are you okay? No. Kenzie. And you're all lights on. Come on now. Okay, we need to get this down fast. Everybody look at your feet. Do you see anything moving? Call on us, okay? Kenzie lost an animal, it's here, she says. Come on, look at your feet. Oh my god, oh, yeah, yeah. What? I, what? Nice shoes. Nice shoes! <laughs> I don't get her sometimes. Come on, look at your feet. <laughs> Are you <laughs> here? Kenzie? Nice shoes. I'm pretty sure we got things out in front of Yeah, we need help. We need two people right now. Oh. Okay, we need two people. Come on, you guys. Above 18 years old. I'll have you, sir. Come on up. Let's have a lady. Oh, she's so volunteer. Okay, again. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go up here, up here. No, no, no. You don't tell the world. Just keep quiet. Come on. 